Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. My name is Wizard Keen, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the very special uh, Fire of London map version 2. Well, not version 2. 2. Map 2. Yes, uh, we've got, as you, as, you know, I did a, a little uh, 101 Ideas about the first map that came out. And that was kind of like a map that you can kind of wander around. Let's have a look out the window. Maybe you could see it. We're in, the, we're in the Tower of London somewhere. Uh, Which basically the it's London 1666, and you can uh, wander around London 1666. It's kind of an open world map. Uh, there are some records that you can kind of find and all that kind of other beautiful stuff too. With this is much more of the adventure map, and this adventure map was developed uh, and devised by myself and kind of developed by uh, Dragnos as well. And he's put all his bells and whistles on it. It's just incredible what he's done. He always blows me away with uh, the amazing stuff that he gets up to with uh, with command blocks and his kind of game design uh, mechanics as well. So first of all, we, we spawn into this room here and we've got some video settings. It's really, really good. Okay, so there's video settings over here, which says, uh, you know, give your render distance, your particles decrease, your brightness about 40. Uh, graphics fast and clouds off, which is quite good. Music settings, you know, it's good to kind of have them all about in that. And, that, you know, 50% music, turn the music off, Minecraft music off. But you can have the jukebox and everything else at about 50%. Then this is a little test to see if the texture pack is working. So we've got, what am I? Well, you are fire, so you can kind of click that. If you click it right, then the door behind us opens. If not, you get a message. I'll show you what it does. You'll get a message saying you need a resource pack. And the door closes as well. Well, I can actually see it, so... That's good for me. So I can open this one. And we enter, not into London 1666, but into this room. This is like the museum room. Okay. And this is kind of what I want to show you. I'll show you that you can start the game straight away, which is by just pressing this button here. But coming next week, and coming next week, we've got day one. The fire of London lasted for three days. And uh, we've got our we've got a, a map. Uh, which will be extended by day one, by day two, day day three, and that's going to be slowly released over the coming week. Uh, in fact, by the time I get here, I uh, by the time this video is released, it will probably be all out. Wow, this is amazing! What is going? <laughs> Look at this backpack. That is incredible. What a great backpack with all the kind of stuff on it as well. That person's carrying all their kind of belongings and bits and pieces. So let's have a look around the museum because this is what I kind of want to show you. So what we've got here is, let's just open this. Okay, find out more about the oak tr truncle bed. So around here are all of the kind of items that you might find in the museum. There's a fire squirt, for example. And in actual fact, I went to the museum the other day with my family and we had a look at an actual fire squirt in the Museum of London uh, because they've got their big exhibition of the Great Fire of London too. And also this, this great big kind of water spout pump thing. Let's have a press the button here. Now, if you press here, you can actually uh, press T and you can go down here and we can click on on one of these links and that'll actually open up the website where you can find out more information isn't that right he doesn't he doesn't mind there's also a leather bucket here so basically all these buttons enable us to find out a little bit more about this uh, about all the items uh, that they've actually got uh, on show so these are all items that we'll also be using in the game look at this fire hook as well amazing the fire hook was used to pull down buildings and this big chest here very ornate uh, kind of chest fantastic stuff okay let's have a look at this big map here as well while we're at it uh, so the great painting find out more about the great paintings this is a, a fantastic painting let's go around the corner and again you can find out a little bit more about that hello hello You're there, there. Uh, another painting here as well and we can find about this is done in uh, 1670s and they're about the great fire of london because it was such a big, a major event in London, uh, and you know it's the 350 years since it was uh, since the fire happened. Uh, so this last weekend, there's been lots of celebrations inside of London uh, to kind of commemorate it because it did change the the way London looked uh, and the, and some of the kind of laws about uh, how building laws and things like that uh, that were inside London as well. So look at these amazing models. Again, all these models have been uh, developed and designed by Dragnos himself. So massive congratulations and, and wonderful kind of uh, wonderful kind of Minecraft work uh, from Dragnos, who's a, a, t a total master at this stuff as well. Oh, look at here. Here we have uh, bottles of wine or water and uh, lovely cheeses as well. <laughs> kind of lovely cheeses. So uh, there is that. There's a very, very famous story. 
about Samuel Pepys, who uh, buried his wine, he buried his brandy, I think, and his cheeses as well, uh, uh, because obviously some of these cheeses were really expensive if you had to buy them. So and they weren't like it wasn't like cheddar or anything like that. It was like Italian Parmesan cheeses, very hard cheeses. And look at these other things as well. We've got uh, we've got amazing kind of modelling going on in here. We've got this kind of a cart that you can kind of, uh, that obviously people were using to uh, to evacuate. A lot of London was evacuated. Not that many people died. I think the only people who really died were people who kind of refused to leave their homes. Uh, but there, there was very few casualties uh, considering how far, how big the fire was. We can kind of uh, see, you know, it destroyed most of, uh, most of northern London at the time. It didn't actually cross the river. Uh, and will they be exploring uh, the state of the fire uh, during the three maps, uh, three days that come out? So starts in game one, uh, we actually start, uh, and it's the beginning of the fire. It's the very, very first step. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually doing a, oh, there's a hole. I found a hole. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Better tell Jack Moss. So I'm going to be doing a let's play of the Great Fire of London, um, starting very shortly. So uh, you'll be able to see me play through the kind of the day one and day two and day three and all that kind of stuff. I won't be showing you in that in this video uh, how it all starts because it's going to be a big surprise for the let's play. It's quite an amazing experience. So do join me for that as well. So do uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, do subscribe so you you make sure you can get all these bits of information. Otherwise, the Great Fire of London map is available for download at their website. So you can kind of for that, that, their website will be in the description below. So you can kind of have a look for the description below. You can kind of find that and download it for yourself and experience this amazing educational uh, map. Uh, that sort of sort of celebrates, but I kind of I think you know it gives you a sense of the history and of the, the importance and some of the objects and experiences that people went through during uh, 1666 during the Great Fire of London. If you have any questions or you have any uh, kind of uh, experiences uh, or, or you've kind of created maps that have, uh, have kind of looked at historical events in the past, do let me know in the comment section below. Um, and uh, do let me know if you've downloaded the map and played it yourself and what you think of it. Uh, and uh, and I'll, uh, I'll try and get back to you. So just want to say thanks very much for watching. And uh, do join me again for some more uh, 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. And if you've liked the video, do remember to give it a thumbs up. Okay, thanks very much now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.